Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay if you're returning. Hey besties, it's so good to see you again. As you can tell by the title, we are getting into my evening routine with Jesus. This is something that I do literally every single day with the exception of the errands that I have to run. But basically every single night, just how you have a that girl evening routine, we have that Christian girl, that holy girl nighttime routine with Jesus. And I feel like as it's the beginning of the year, this is the perfect time to share with you guys that routine because I've gotten a lot of questions about it, but I also just really wanna focus on this year, putting out more faith-based content that is going to help my brothers and sisters in Christ who are new to this walk to establish a routine that helps them include the Lord in literally everything that they do. It's not as hard as everybody makes it seem. And so I just wanna show that essentially that it really doesn't take that much. You you have a regular night routine, but you're also being intentional about the relationship through simple ways, simple additions and changes to your morning or nighttime routine. I already have a morning with Jesus routine that you guys can definitely check out. Also link it down below. But I figured what a cool way to start the year by showing you my holy girl nighttime routine with Jesus because I mean, you have to have a nighttime routine anyway. So why not include the Lord? Also, please forgive this lighting. I don't know what's going on. You know that it starts to get darker earlier and it's literally like it's only four o'clock right now but like it's starting to get dark so just forgive this lighting so basically i'm just going to take you through my night things that i absolutely have to get done tonight is pick up my groceries which i'm already at the grocery store so i'm going to pick up my groceries do a little 20 minute cleaning task finish editing a video i was going to take a prior walk but i don't think that it's going to be light enough for me to take it out because i don't leave my house once it's dark like s and no i'm not walking anywhere so we probably won't do that but maybe i'll do like a little prayer walk around my house and then also i'm going to do some skincare some self-care and then also get into my word i'm also in the process of updating my prayers and goals and things like that in my prayer closet so we can probably do a little bit of that tonight too but i just really just wanted to show you how oh and we're making dinner duh because we have to eat um but i can't make dinner until about six because i am currently fasting with my church today is day one so i can't eat until six o'clock from six to six we are completely fasting with just water but then i'll be able to make food so i'll probably make food around like 5 45 ish and that'll just basically be it but i just figured this would be a cool video to make so let's go get our groceries and then head back to the house
guys so it's a little bit later it's about mm, almost three hours later it's right mm, 6 14 right now and i got a lot of work done it ran a little bit longer but that's okay sometimes that happens but after i finished my work i got into the shower i did my full body care put the lotion on put all my smell good products on because that is literally the only way i can settle into my evening and really honestly enjoy because if i'm still in my outside clothes i'm not fully comfortable but now the robe is on so you already know what it is but now i'm about to get into some skincare and skincare has been such an important part of my evening routine because it also serves as a form of self-care for myself because it's just that extra little bit of time that you get to spend with yourself and pour into yourself i'm a teacher so i'm pouring out all day and giving to other people but this is my time right now to go ahead and just pour that back into myself anytime i do skincare i always put on some like worship music worship music is on in my house literally 24 7. if it's not worship music it's dappy t keys the instrumental worship scripture music playing in the background or even just like natural rain or ocean sounds but worship music is always going in my house because i just need it all the time there's always some sort of music gospel christian worship music playing in my house at all times but i'm actually getting ready to wash off the makeup because now that the makeup is coming off i can really like start to unwind and relax for the night i mean the fact that the robe is on like we just know we already know what it is but before we go any further i just want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video which is osea you guys know that i am no stranger to osea i love 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 their products and you too will love them too if you don't know who osea is they they are my favorite, my absolute favorite, female founded and family operated skincare line their products are clean, vegan, ocean positive, and climate neutral. This product right here has been such a huge game changer in my nightly skincare routine. This is the Collagen Dream Night Cream and a dream it is. This product is the first of its kind. It's the first night cream that is clinically proven to reduce the effects of stress on your skin. It's got super beneficial key ingredients like algae derived bioretinol, vegan collagen, king of bitters, and wild lavender. The key benefits to this night cream is that it's proven to reduce the effects of stress on your skin, visibly reduces lines and wrinkles, hydrates, softens, and smooths overnight, and firms skin in two weeks. I also love that this product has wild lavender in it because it's known for its relaxing and calming effects. It also increases hydration and improves invisible signs of skin fatigue. Every single one of their products are incredible. I literally use the body cream and the body oil tonight because like it's just such an elite combination. To have something to now put on my face is like yes if you ask me this is the best bio retinol night cream as it visibly reduces lines and wrinkles without any irritation like imagine just having a skincare product that makes you look awake and refreshed even if you're not exactly my skin has not felt as soft and supple and hydrated as it has been since i've been using this product and i'm not just saying that i have oily skin so i'm always really concerned with the products that i'm using but i feel like i get a really good hydration without feeling oily and greasy and weighed down it's very lightweight and it makes my skin skin plump and supple in all of the right ways if you guys are interested in getting your hands on any osea products specifically this night cream you guys can get 10 percent off with my code rihanna dream in all capital letters it's here on the screen you can also use the barcode here since you know i'm sure your phone is already out and the link will be down below in the description box as well again thank you so much to osea for sponsoring this portion of today's video and just putting out quality skincare that people can feel so good about using definitely head over to their website and snag some of the best skincare products you'll ever use
make dinner it took a little bit longer for me tonight because i was also filming this for a meal prep that's supposed to go up this weekend so i made this curry chickpea stew kind of deal curried chickpeas over brown rice and i'm really excited to try it it looks so good so i'm gonna have my dinner right now and usually with dinner i try I try, okay? I really do try to watch content that is going to fill me spiritually. And usually it's like me watching a sermon or me watching one of my favorite Christian vloggers or like doing a Bible study, something like that. But today I'm going back and re-watching our New Year's Eve service from church this past weekend because Bishop Nelson preached a word and um, I wanna go back and jot down some things that I might have missed. So this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of minutes. I'm just gonna enjoy this time, watch maybe like 15, 20 minutes of it 
before I head into my prayer closet and like putting up the prayers and stuff, we'll talk about that in a little bit too. But this is what I like to do. Now, some nights it's very much me watching Criminal Minds or a K drama. That's okay as long as you are finding time to fit it in. So, this is like something that I personally like to do. So, I'm gonna watch. Oh, Devon Franklin also has an incredible ministry as well. I like his videos as well. So, just find a pastor that you know is teaching sound teaching. Let the Lord really lead you with that. Um, but Bishop Nelson, he's gonna do it for me every single time. So, we're about to get into that. But I wanted to try this on camera first to see if it's actually good. I'm a meat eater. So, for me to not have meat is interesting mm, this is actually good the recipe said that you could add meat to it and i might add meat to it next time but this is actually real good so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and have my dinner and then we'll check back in in a little bit And now it's time to spend some time in my prayer closet. So I'm in the process of redoing it. So I have been writing prayers down on papers and then just like filling up the wall. And then like by the end of the year, not even like it's like literally like halfway through the year, it's full. And then I can take some of them down and then add new prayers to the wall. But I have some prayers that I wrote down that I want to add on my wall because I just feel like it's so empty in here. Like there's nothing on the wall anymore. You can do this any way you want, but because this, I didn't do a vision board or a prayer board for this year. I stopped doing like vision boards because I feel like my vision and God's vision don't always align. Like there are things that I really want and then I get disappointed at the end of the year when I don't accomplish it, I feel like I failed. So I stopped making a vision board, but I still do have prayer requests throughout the year. So I wanted to get a bigger board, but I just like didn't buy one. So we're just gonna use the wall. Cause remember I did like a prayer board and a scripture board, they're smaller, I still have them. But I just felt like I really wanted to be able to write more down cause I'm getting more into like journaling my prayers and just journaling in general specifically in the area of gratitude i didn't do like an actual vision board but we are going to do like a whole wall i think on this side i'm going to do prayers and then on that side, I'm going to do the scriptures that I'm standing on in 2024. I mean, and also just scriptures that I'm trying to learn and memorize because like, again, I am trying to increase my knowledge of scripture and be able to recite them and also be able to apply them. So this is what I'm doing right now. And I realized that I don't have tape anymore. I ran out of tape. So I'm going to use these little black sticker thingies. Once that's done, I'm just going to pray over it really quick off camera. And then I'm going to do a quick Bible study for the evening, do some reading and then journal for the night. And that is basically gonna be it again i told you it doesn't have to be this whole long production right you just incorporate god in every single task that you do you have to do tasks every day so might as well just include them while you're doing those tasks you know what i'm saying <laughs> the prayers that I have up here. I have about 14 as of right now, but what I plan to do is, so this was like the major categories that I, like the things that I was praying for, people I was praying for, maybe like once a week or something, I will write an entire page, like a prayer from like things that I encountered during the week so I can get the whole wall filled up because it is a pretty big wall and I'm just excited to journal my prayers. Like I, I pray my prayers out loud, but I definitely see the benefit in journaling them because then you can go back and like read and remember what you prayed because you have to be super careful careful what you pray for because sometimes it comes in a way that you did not expect and you're like hold up when did I pray for this and the Lord is like yeah 
this is what you need to do. So this is my little prayer wall right now. I'm not gonna start the scripture wall tonight because I don't have any of my new post-its ready to go, but that'll be something that you guys can see in a vlog in the near future. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly pray over this off camera and then we're going to do a quick Bible study. And I mean quick because I am starting to feel a little bit tired and I definitely wanna make sure that I get my one chapter of reading in for the book that I'm reading. I'll tell you guys about that in a second. So let me just go ahead and pray and we'll be right back. It's a little bit later. It's time to get into my word. I like to end my night off with the word of God because they are the best words to finish your night off with, not scrolling on social media, but the actual word of God. If you guys know, I like to study in depth a chapter. I showed you guys in a few vlogs back. When I pull up my binder, I'm really gonna be studying, studying definitions, studying terms, studying the context of the text and what God is trying to tell me and his character and all these things. But tonight, I'm actually going to look at three scriptures because right now I am currently in a season where what I physically see and what I heard from God seem very far apart and so now I'm questioning and I can be real I am now questioning if I heard God correctly and so I just need to speak the word of God over myself because that's the best thing that you can do whenever you are in any kind of season or storm is to combat it with the word of God and so there are three scriptures that I want to read to you today the first one is a scriptural promise from Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 it says the grass withers the flower fades but the word of our God stands forever the next verse that I want to share with you guys comes from numbers chapter 23 verse 19 and it says God is not a man that he should lie nor a son of man that he should repent has he said and he will not do it or has he spoken and he will not make it good and fulfill it Okay, and the last scripture comes from John chapter 13, verse seven. Y'all better be writing these down. These are real good. It says, Jesus replied to him, you do not realize now what I am doing, but you will fully understand it later. Well, all right. So I'm actually just gonna go in and really quickly just jot down some notes. Nothing extravagant. You guys could like take this time to do it, but I just feel like my night got shifted a little bit, having to get some work done, having to get some extra filming done tonight. So it's a lot later and I do wanna go to sleep, but I definitely want to just go in and just jot some notes down in my word. And then also need to find my post-it notes so that I can start building the scripture part of my wall and my prayer closet. Because these are three that I'm definitely gonna be standing on because right now there just seems like, I don't really understand why why or what's going on but I came across the scripture and I was like okay so maybe it's not for me to understand right now I'll understand later on and that's cool because you know God's ways are not our ways but I definitely wanted to encourage you that you heard God correctly just because you don't see it right now doesn't mean that he's not working on your behalf behind the scenes and also if it doesn't turn out the way that you think it's going to turn out it doesn't look the way that you thought it would look it doesn't mean that God is any less good God is good regardless and his word is true and his word is good and so anytime you're going through a season or anytime you are struggling struggling or anytime you need a comforting word, go right to your Bible because there are gems in there. There's literally a scripture for everything that you go through in your entire life. You just have to open the word. And if you are newer to the faith, I will say this. I can't quote all scripture right off the bat. There are some times when I have to Google really quickly, like scriptures pertaining to faith, scriptures pertaining to healing, scriptures related to X, Y, and Z. It's just something that you have to learn. And the more you read your word, the easier it will become. If that's something that you're struggling with, or you think that you're really behind in your studies or in your walk, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Take your time. We all start off somewhere. You just have to put the work in to do it, but there's no rush. So I finished my Bible study and it was definitely the smartest move that I could make right now because I tend to get into my own head at times, but the Bible literally puts my mind at ease every single time. It's never a waste whenever I pick up my Bible. And I can be honest, there are times where I don't feel like picking up my Bible, but I've never once picked up my Bible and said that was a waste of time. 
never ever. I just wanna encourage everybody who's watching this video, specifically my brothers and sisters who are new to the faith, relax, don't overwhelm yourself. This walk with Christ is all about relationship. Relationships take work, relationships take intentionality. It's not about religious practices and what it looks like. It matters what it is. Take your time, incorporate God into everything that you do, whether you're showering, whether you're doing your hair, whether you are doing the dishes, you can incorporate him in literally everything. Just talk to him, start there. Pick up your word, read a scripture a day, read two scriptures a day. If you're more seasoned, you can probably handle a little bit more of the meat and potatoes, the longer studies, but just relax. There's no need to get there super duper fast. Take your time. The Bible is a word that is intended to be read over the course of your entire life. There's no rush, but you must pick up the word. I'm gonna go to bed because I'm actually so tired right now, but I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, please let me know what other faith-based content that you would like to see. It could be Bible studies, Bible study methods, a Q&A, whatever you want. Like this is like, this is our year where we are really in our Bible bag. We are in our prayer bag. We are so locked in with God because where he's about to take us, we can't do it without him. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next. Thank you.